I always thought quill work was like thing that everyone knew about because I had quill boxes in my house and I just assumed that everyone kind of like understood that this was like an indigenous art form. So growing up or like slowly realizing that this wasn't something that was super common kind of surprised me. I'm Christine Toulouse. I am a quill work artist. So quill work is a form of textile embellishment where you take birch bark as your base and you take porcupine quills that are softened in water and you kind of weave them into the base of birch bark. So 2016 was a big transition year for me. My mom had just been diagnosed with cancer. I was struggling with chronic back pain and so I decided to go back home to take care of my mom and kind of figure out a plan for how I could bring purpose into my life. I asked my grandma if she would teach me quill work and my grandma like put together this like quill box. It's her fastest work and you can totally tell it's not like super quality, but she wanted to give it to me to teach me like kind of the fundamentals of quill work. I took it back to my mom's house and I like, like visually deconstructed it and then I'd run back to my grandma's house and like ask her a bunch of questions. She took a lot of pride in what she did and she definitely tried to pass it on to as many people who were interested in doing it. I just was the one to fully take up the torch and really push on with it. So during the pandemic, I opened up my box of supplies because my mom had just passed away. And I think I wanted to, I guess, feel her again. She had helped me get all of those supplies gathered. The porcupine quills died. Everything she had touched, you know? So I wanted to take all those materials and make it into something beautiful and tangible. And that's what I did. Going through these like table events where I'm like selling my stuff, I'm getting to talk with a lot of indigenous and non-indigenous people who are curious about quill work and don't know anything about it. There's such a need for people to understand that quill work is a, a relevant Indigenous art form and being able to put that word out and being able to teach people about it. Like, I feel like it's definitely kind of landed on my shoulders to pass on. And I've thankfully been given that knowledge from my family and my grandma. And uh, I'm excited to share about it. And people are, are, seem to be excited to learn. <laughs>